Hey, I'm Lydia, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these cement bottle stoppers. They make great gifts or even items to stock in your shop. I'm gonna take you through the entire process. But first, if you're new to my channel, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my craft tutorials. All right, let's get started. If you wanna make these bottle stoppers yourself, go ahead and screenshot these next two slides that show you exactly what I use to make mine. Or you can check the description box below and find the links to everything that I used. I ordered the wine bottle stopper mold kit from Amazon and it came with the mold and like the screw on tip, but it didn't come with a screw or a bolt or anything. So I took the tip to the hardware store and tried out as many <laughs> as I could to find the right one. And so the size that works is the 5 16th size. And I'd recommend going with the half an inch size. I bought the three quarter of an inch and it was just a little bit too long as you'll see later on in the video. The bolt is gonna sit in the cement, which will allow you to use these bottle stopper tops interchangeably. So you can screw one off and put on another and it's just more secure than just setting the tip into the cement itself. To help the bolt sit in the cement while it cured, I used a piece of scrap plastic and cut out a piece in the middle so that it could just fit right over the mold and hold the, the bolt and the tip in place. I decided to make these a little fancy by adding mylar flakes to the bottom of the mold and also gold flake in some of the other molds too. I just wanted it to be more than just cement. I don't know. Anyways, I'm using cement all as my cement. It's pretty easy to work with. It cures really fast and it's easy to find pretty much everywhere. Now, usually I use just water with the cement, but this time I wanted to try the RIT liquid fabric dye. So to use it, you're just gonna replace the water with the RIT fabric dye. So it's already a liquid, already has water or whatever in it. So you're just mixing the RIT liquid dye with the cement. Now I found after a lot of trial and error that darker colors work the best. I'm mixing this in small amounts. I'm only going to do one bottle stopper top at a time. If you mix up too much cement all at once, it's gonna cure on you before you're ready to use it. Now that I've poured my cement into the mold, pretty much all the way to the top, I'm going to add the bolt that is screwed into the wine bottle stopper tip with a piece of plastic between them. I'll just set that in and then set it off to the side so it can cure. I also wanted to create a stopper that had two colors, but I didn't wanna just layer one on top of the other. I kind of wanted a, a diagonal kind of vibe, so I poured my cement into one of the molds as it's kind of sitting more on its side and then I let it cure like that. And then once it was cured, I poured in the second layer on top of that. For this third and final bottle stopper, I used cement, water, and black acrylic paint. And you kind of have to play around with the mixture to find out what works best because there are so many types of acrylic paint out there. But I finally got it to the color I wanted it and the consistency as well. And Next, I just lined the mold with gold flake and poured my cement mixture in. When I'm working with gold flake and cement, I found that I have to kind of crush or crumble the flakes a bit more. Rather than just laying them flat on the inside of the mold as I would with resin, I have to um, crush the flakes a little bit so that they have more texture for the cement to grip onto. The absolute hardest part of this entire project was trying to get them out of the molds. Oh my goodness. I can't even tell you how long it took me to get these stoppers out of the molds, but it required so much strength to pull the silicone down and it's because the opening is so much more narrow than the the top of the topper. And it was just, it just took a lot. Um, if I wasn't gonna reuse these molds, I would have just cut the molds off at, at some point because I was so frustrated. But once they were out, they were super cute and I was happy that that I, I went through the pain and agony and blue fingertips to get to this point. Now that they're all out of the molds, we can take a closer look. I feel like the blue one is beautiful, but it didn't 
come out the way that the other two did. And I think it's because I might've put too much writ in it or something, but um, it's not as smooth and as, as crisp as the other two. As you can see, the lines here are a lot more sharp on these ones. Um, and so I'm not really sure what happened in the first one, honestly. My favorite one though, has got to be the globe. The globe is my favorite. Uh, I love how the gold flake is like cracking through or emerging from the cement. It just looks like, you know, there's a big gold nugget under there. I just think it looks so beautiful. And that texture that I was talking about, how the cement picks up the texture when you crumble the flake a little bit. So um, now that we have them out of the molds and they're fully cured, it's time to seal them. I used the acrylic sealer instead of the wax one. Um, I wanted it to have a nice lasting finish that I didn't have to, to reapply. I think I did two coats, making sure to let the first coat dry before I put on a second and it came out to a beautiful glossy finish. Now, the same brand also has a matte finish in case you don't want it to be glossy, but I really, really enjoy these bottle stoppers. I think they came out absolutely beautiful. And these are great add-on gifts for like when you're going to someone's house and you're bringing them a bottle of wine, you can bring them a personally made wine bottle stopper as well. And so just make a few in advance and then you always have them on hand and they just add that personal handmade touch that elevates anything that you bring. So that's it for this video. And if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you wanna see more of my tutorials, watch this video next.